first. <laughs> okay, so I don't know. What's going on, guys? What's going on, guys? <laughs> uh, go. That's that's it, right? Uh, Audio. What's going on, guys? It's Kurt. No, you. <laughs> People say their own name. No, the so, other okay. names. Everybody, everybody says. Right, right, you, right, or right. you could do it the other way. Yeah, um, yeah. Am I your host? Am I the host? You are yeah, the host. host You're there. introducing with your, <laughs> your, your sultry, host. soothing voice. I like it. Uh, so I guess this is. We'll put this in guys cast. It's either guys cast, reflections, or origins. But I'm gonna say guys, guys cast. cast. Guys oh. cast probably if it's more general, but reflections yeah. if it's more reflective. And Assassin's Creed if it's more origins. A- <laughs> Save it for this dream, bro. Uh, <laughs> So I'm your host Curtis, and I'm joined by Saudi, Simran, Brat, and Zach. Yeah. 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 Hi. Hi. <laughs> um. So we were talking about like I, I was hoping that this podcast or we have some sort of podcast that would kind of talk about like our process and what happened, like a kind of like the weekend review or like the stuff that we wanted to get done this week, how it went, and like what our goals were and whatever where we see this going and like all our goals and aspirations or whatever kind of thing, but um, I'm not quite sure how that'll turn out with these jokers over here. Uh, what was it? Goofs making Goofs jokes. Goofs making jokes. Goofs making <laughs> jokes. That's our new podcast. Uh. Yeah, we should have a thing called Goofs making hey. jokes. He's trying to put us in a box, but, but we're, we're, we're going to fly. We're, we're going to soar. We're going to look outside the box. Shit, that was a joke. We should, we should, make, we should make a podcast <laughs> called Dude Goofs. Dude Goofs. Dude Goofs. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're already ruining this. No, okay, that's fine. No, I'm no, no, just that's, kidding. That's cool. No, no. Um, um, what, did we, what did I think I was going to Okay, so I came, uh, me and Sadi actually went on a um, a trip down to see her mom in Toronto. So we were away for a couple of weeks. And so we just got back and I'm not going to lie, I shit the fucking bed because the first two days, uh, like I came back and I was just like dead tired, I was a little bit jet like whatever. And then I had like, the, the, the minute I landed, I had to go to work. And so I just, the first two days, I just sat down at work, did work, and then watched Netflix and did nothing else. And then on the third day, I went to donate blood. Um, And then after that, I just felt lethargic. But then I still got a little bit of work done. But I mean, like, I should have came back, hitting the floor, like, running, because I was doing a really good job right before I left. Like, every day, just, like, you know, like, um, just working on videos and this and that. And then... You know, Kurt. Kurt specifically asked, like, "Hey, Brett, like, blah blah blah. What can you do?" And we had like, we had, we had a bunch of meetings, and we talked a bunch about like how many videos I could uh, push out in any given week and or month. And you know, it was a bunch of like let's plays and seeing doubles. But like already, like week one into coming back from vacation, still in that like vacation mode. And obviously, donating blood didn't help. It's not a like it's not an excuse. Well, I would but, say it helped. You know, it helped somebody help. dying, definitely, but <laughs> it didn't help our us, channel, us, yeah, channel making videos. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. what's really more important, people living or our channel living? Our channel living. And I'll, you, we already know the latter. Are, um, you, are you really living if you're not watching our channel? Ooh. Ooh. Check out Whoa. guys making videos on YouTube. Right. See, you thought it would be all jokes, but that was just philosophy. Sorry, go on. Um, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Um, but, but yeah, no, um, but yeah, I, I, I definitely feel that I definitely feel that I, I could have started off better, but definitely. Wait, what do you want to do going forward though? Like from now on, what, pick it what, up. What like, 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 well, I know, but would you have any like specific plans or any goals or like whatever? Like you want to get certain things done by a certain timeline or whatever? Cause what I was talking about with these guys is like, I said deadlines and that's why I said only for me. Cause I realized the deadlines don't matter. Mm-hmm. unless we're committed, like we prioritize the deadlines over other things, right? Because yeah. we're still at the like, and I was saying this to the other guys is, we meet up either, we Thursday and Saturday, but if we don't, we're not like, oh, we should make up that day because we have a deadline. Yeah. We're just kind of like, oh, well, we missed Saturday, so we'll just try again next week, mm-hmm. right? So at that point, if that's how we're taking it, then the deadlines don't make sense, right? Because the deadlines aren't prioritized at that point. It's just kind of like, we'll do as much as we can, and if we can't, we can't, right? Um, again, that's understandable based on like your guys' lives, right? Like you work full on 40 hour work weeks that are graveyards. So then it ruins the rest of your day and it fucks up your schedule. So I, un- now, yeah. so I understand that, right? Yeah. Same thing with Sim. Like everybody has their thing. That's just like, but, I'm, I have the most amount of time out of everyone. So yeah. it, like, to be honest, it asks the least out of me because I don't have that much on my plate. Mm-hmm. So it makes sense that I ask a lot of myself. Yeah. Right. But with you guys, I understand that it asks way more of you guys because there's already a lot on your plate. The thing is, I feel like the, like up until we were what, like December before the holidays started, we were fucking like every week we were meeting up and it was all good. It's just with, um, 
Rain Cloud launching for Zack and his team and Simran like killing it before he moved uh, offices at his work. Um, yeah, first off, congratulations on Rain Cloud, man. Yeah, yeah. Big round of applause. Hey! I've been, I've been listening to some songs on YouTube. Yeah. And- <laughs> Zach's not a fan of his own stuff, so we have to let him know that he's not a failure. Okay, well, um, I didn't know how good of a singer. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I didn't, Zach, if you didn't know, guys, Zach can actually sing. singing on the tracks, right? Or not, some like, or not I mean, all of them. Some of them. Uh, for those of you who don't know, that's like my comic and music I make with people. Yeah, Rain Cloud Official is uh, the. Uh, yeah, I don't know. The comic oh, book, uh, the comic book version of. Um, I'm back to the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, I don't know. Check it out. It's a lot of shock out. value. Make your own opinion. Yeah. <laughs> uh, www. Raincloud.comcast. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's there you go. Back, back if you care enough, just Google it. Yeah. Right uh, Raincloud official. <laughs> How do you spell it? On Instagram. How do you spell it? Oh, I spelled R E I, like Rain of Terror and then Cloud. Like yeah. Rain Cloud. Like, like Rain of Fire, rain, the yeah. great movie with the great movie with the dragons. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, Sorry. Rain, R E I G N, Cloud, C L O U D, official. If you don't want to spell official, well, then we really don't want you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's dope. Check it out, guys. Anyways, um, uh, so, yeah, yeah so right. with, with uh, Zach starting uh, Rain Cloud official, sorry, launching Rain Cloud official with his team and Simran finishing off his uh, tenure at his, his job and moving to a new location, January, I feel, was just a busier month. Just for everyone. Also, your hot water tank exploded. Oh yeah, oh, and, yeah. and then and then, and then at our our office, our seeing oh, double our office, office <laughs> slash <laughs> home, <laughs> uh, we we had no fucking hot water for a week. For, a week. for yeah, a week, and then we had piping issues from that issue that stemmed that caused thousands and thousands of dollars in damage, and I had to pick up fucking a million shifts at work to cover it because you know seeing double and all this doesn't pay right now. But it's the dream, so we're gonna keep working on it. Um, but yeah, January I just feel like was a just a taxing month on everybody. So I feel like if everyone can come back stronger in February, like I, I dilly dallied. Like uh, Rain Cloud launched on February, mid February, February 9th. February 9th. Me and Sadi got back from Toronto on February 11th. Sim just moved to his new job on February 13th. So like yeah, mid Feb, everyone was coming through. And so now it's now we get the ball rolling, you know. Yeah. And it's not how but, it should be. But, it's not but I mean, again, like I don't know if you guys re- read the blog post or whatever, but it's not like these are in the in just looking at guys making videos without all those things. Mm-hmm. It is like these aren't excuses. Yeah, yeah. These are what happened, but within guys making videos, it results in lack of co- content. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah, Which and doesn't push excuse. us forward or anything. Yeah. No, but no. I mean, giving you guys context, this is what's been happening. And there's there's always gonna be lulls. In your year, uh, yeah. especially when you're making content on the internet and stuff, there's always gonna be a month to where you're slacking a bit more than others, and just because life comes forward. And yeah, like I, I feel like I feel like if, if it's your if it's your livelihood, if it's your work, and yeah, you make no, money directly sure. off YouTube or SoundCloud or Spotify or whatever, yeah, yeah. you're gonna work a hundred hours a week yeah, on it because that is sure. that's what brings in the, and the butter. Ideally, know? that's the goal for us. Yeah, and for sure. E- and even before you make money, you gotta put in as many hours as you oh, can. And like, thousands. it's still like a very, I, you guys have heard it, I've heard us all talk in other podcasts and stuff, how it's like kind of a transitionary period still. I would, I feel personally, yeah. for guys making videos, having a new name, um, adding more people to the group. That yeah. I, some of them I haven't even met yet and they seem like really cool people. So I'm excited that this is kind of growing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and just the, the fact that people are like on board with this idea of yeah. what yeah. It's as just, a group we're trying to do. Like sometimes, you know, Sim can't make it or I can't make it and stuff. But there's still people that yeah. can pick up the slack. But sure still, are, and share are, yeah, guys, and people you, who are still on board, but yeah. like aren't necessarily like, hey, I'm gonna be there every week. But mm-hmm. you know, they're still there when you need them, right? And, and and for me, and I think all of us, a huge thing is like, yeah, we might be working our jobs, but like me and Curtis talked about this back in 2016. Uh, we were talking about how this thing is like eight years, nine years, ten years. It could be without a single cent or anything. It's if you want the dream to like, if yeah. you want it to happen, you're gonna make it happen. It doesn't matter how long it takes. Like I know that if I left right now to move to like some other country and came back ten years later, I know that Kurt and Zach are gonna be making videos and content because that's just what they do. They're like they're they're artists and they like their craft and they they're never gonna step away from that no matter like the hurdles that they have to face. So like I already know that they're gonna be in it to win it kind of thing. So I think that's for a lot of us. Um, a job is just a means to an end to pay the bills and the hot water tanks and the yeah. and and the the house structure fixings and all that. 
but like this is the this is the goal to wake up and do what you love and uh it might be slow right now but i definitely think that like you know as the months go on and yeah there will be lulls yeah there's always but i mean we're gonna cheat until cheat. until this becomes something that can pay our bills and whatnot yeah. it won't like we can't obviously commit a hundred percent to it but like everyone wants to be committed to it and everyone's show that they are committed to yeah. it to a certain extent um even people like shiv and steven and all those guys that you've seen on seeing doubles and whatnot they like they 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 really do step up when you know like i can't make it or i'm in minnesota or you're gone out or you know in minnesota <laughs> yeah, in minnesota yeah, right no. um so yeah the whole team itself but well, we also have those new players that we're talking about so yeah like nam Man. and claudia and all all these all these all these young guns that are coming <laughs> and uh Whoa. yeah just young for guns. one second like uh there's also like an actual kind of bigger planned show now like there's oh, yeah, a bigger yeah. project oh, yeah. well, that's what I was going to ask you guys is like what's the most exciting like what are you most excited about this year like for or not even I don't know this year but I guess right now because mm-hmm. for me and Sim I know it's it's our short form web series front desk yeah um, like which is really, like really short. Like super I know, short. Really like short the first form. episode's a minute, so it's super. Well, short. a minute thirty with the I intro. Mean, we'll add some, like you know, like the thing we wrote today. We can put that in front of the intro. Do you know what I mean? To extend that episode out. Make sure you guys wear the same clothes. Oh wait, we don't have to wear the same clothes. It can no. be just be a different. Oh, oh that thing. I know. Right? Right? Okay, yeah. We like, can't tell you. Spoiler, yet. spoiler, alert, guys. But, can't like, you know? Yeah, like like the the, the, the uh, whatever. We, we signed the NDA. Like yeah. We can't talk about it. Pretty much. Like, we can put cold opens in front of the intros to make the episode seem... Oh, yeah, yeah, and then the right? intro comes in, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but, I mean, that's... Right now, that's what I'm most excited about is, is front desk. I'm most excited about uh, seeing Double Hitting episode 50. Holy shit, like, I can't believe that... Okay, but you gotta post them. Episode <laughs> so 50? And you gotta... Yeah. We're, gonna stop, <laughs> we're stop on working. 20-something, are we? We're on 30, yeah. 31. 30 right? something, but that's like... 30. That's still 19 away. I, I, he said this year. So if we get... Or whatever, right? yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought, I thought he's confident. Like, he's saying he's confident that yes. we're gonna hit episode. I thought 50 you meant like yes. the next couple episodes we're gonna hit fifty. Yeah. No, 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 yeah, no, no, that's no, what it sounded like. like. No, 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 no. He said, "Wasn't you excited for this year?" I'm like, yeah. at some point, or whatever, like, yeah. October or something. The Halloween special. Check it out, episode fifty coming out. <laughs> coming out, out next year. <laughs> next year. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I didn't say this Halloween. Yeah, I'm excited for front desk and coming out with skits. I'm excited to see what you guys do with front desk because I don't. I think I'm only in a couple episodes, but the first episode I found really funny. Yeah. Um, the only thing uh, that I would like to see is um, like just more of it. Like it's it, it was super short, but it was it was good. You know, like the the content was good, and uh, yeah, I mean. Oh yeah, someone was talking about fillers and stuff. But yeah, we were discussing that. What do you mean? Oh, the the yeah, yeah. And stuff. Well, like, yeah, yeah they like, make the episode yeah. longer, and they're not really. I mean, like, one. You don't need them for the story side of it. Exactly. You can just you have a free joke. You know that much. reminds me. It reminds me of a lot of sitcoms. You know, like even like Brooklyn Nine Nine. The intro has nothing to nothing do with, to do with it. So, but it's, a but free it's just joke like a, a, free laugh, a non sequitur joke that they just kind of come up with, like yeah. a little bit, and then it's funny, and then it goes into the actual storyline. Yeah. Yeah. the episode. Because it's like you know the writers intro. are in the room, they're writing the main shit, and then one guy's like, "Hey, what? What if like like not like this happened in the story? They're like, what if they did this? Yeah. They're like, well, that doesn't really fit in the story, but we can just put it before the intro, yeah. and then exactly. it's just funny. Yeah, exactly. This is something that's closer to what I always wanted to do is some kind of like sh- like long f- like show like ongoing show type thing yeah um and i think this is like a really good experience for us because like i see it as kind of like i don't know if you guys follow rooster teeth or whatever but red versus blue is like it's like their sandbox kind of like to play around with their jokes and kind of test their humor and test like plot things so i mean this is our kind of sandbox for making yeah. some kind of like film type thing and uh i think this the scarcity of it is really good for writing like the fact that it's all kind of set in the front desk like it's called like it's it's in this gym this one vicinity where the office is and everything but uh uh i, I think that like just because we only have these like few amounts of sets and yep. stuff like it's still gonna create like we're gonna think of really funny ideas yeah. as a result yeah when you can find the box confined, it's like we have to think outside the box it's exactly. a double-edged sword because it like it limits what you can do yeah but also it makes you way more creative yeah. and, yeah. Figure out and things. hopefully this is something people like enough that we can springboard into hey now we're gonna actually like meet a playland or something <laughs> like you know for this episode or you know shit like that like we'll actually here, have right? a budget or like we'll actually have a budget <laughs> yeah, <I know>. <laughs> <laughs> production, yeah like production no it's, you know it's, like it's, produ- exactly my i would be in awe if like like Sim and Kurt could full time write this show and film it with like a proper like crew of like people and like yeah. like have it done like that'd be I nuts. 
like the whole process though, the one thing, like out of all the things that we did for it, like we've only done one episode, but because we've done that one episode and it's kind of like completed, we kind of have an idea of like, hey, well, this is where you start and this is what it's going to end up as. Yeah. Like out of all of it, the writing pro- part was probably my favorite part. And like, oh, right. so, yeah. like the filming and stuff like that was probably my least favorite part, honestly, because it's like, mm. I don't know anything about that shit. Yeah. Like, and so it's yeah. like, like, I'm like, oh, this would, this would look good. Right. And then like Curtis comes in and he's like, well, like you could just do it this way. And I'm like, oh, I guess, I guess that's way better. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. Obviously I'm learning some of it, but mm-hmm. like the writing side of it was way more fun for me. Cause it's yeah. like, I'm used to writing stuff, like exactly. whether it be for school or like yeah. just on my own. Well, you know what they say is like, it's good to like test all the things. So yeah. you know what you like, and at least you know mm-hmm. what you like and what you're good at. Yeah. And that it's, but it's good to know when you're writing now. Yeah what it's like to do these things like so when you're writing you're like oh this may or may not work based on the yeah. experience you have shooting so like but like what just talking about it now has made me realize more and more is like if we go into the future and we're doing more of this stuff and we have more productions and things like that i don't think i want like not that i don't want to like be but your that strength thing. and my way strength you, yeah. is probably writing and, and i like doing that way more and i would love to like sit kind of behind the scenes and just write shit yeah yeah and this is like a prediction on my part if this show keeps going forward, which I, I think it will, and I hope it will, and I want to see it through, um, it's going to be like every season, it's going to be like a, a, a year of film school, kind of like, okay, this season, we're just making sure we can get like the show done. Right? Yeah. Next season, we're going to work on lighting. Next season, we're going to work on writing. Next yeah. season, you know, it's like each season is just going to be like more and more built off. Well, it's like, other, it's like, like Curtis said, it's like, it's that sandbox where you kind of, exactly. like the first part of it is like, just like learning yeah, all getting the established. things you can do. And like, then you kind of get like, you figure out, okay, this is what yeah. we're good at. And exactly. then these are the things we need to work on. So let's work exactly, on this for yeah. stuff. Here. And then like by the time we're season seven, it's like, okay, we got lighting down, we got <laughs> the writing down, we got character down. Like yeah. here's here's down over, here's over by season seven, we have people for lighting. Yeah, 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 exactly. Well, I'm just mean, saying, like, I don't even think that's like we shouldn't focus on like whether we have people by season seven. Yeah, we I don't. Focus on whether we're good. No, yeah, no, exactly. For sure, like, for sure. Learning the craft. Like, for sure. Even just having a reel of stuff you can do is important. And then right right now, all we're doing is like all the stuff we do is we're like we're trying to do it for ourselves, and we're trying to make this thing big. But at the end of the day, you're just building your resume with every single thing that you make kind of thing. So we should just keep making things whether they get viewed or not. So you have something to show other people to say, you know what? I'm actually legit. Like, oh, no, I know I, 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 I'm, I'm, I think you, I think you misunderstood. Like, I, I, if by season 10, we're still just working with just us and filming and doing it and making it and people enjoy it. Like, that's great. Yeah. I'm saying I'm hopeful that by season seven, yeah, no, people sure. have like, Loved it, and they're like, "Yo, like, you guys gotta do this." But like, even like, I you hope know. we have at least three hundred views. <laughs> three hundred is my goal by ten years. Yeah, yeah, that's my nerdy. Three hundred. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to. Yeah, yeah. I thought you were gonna be like three hundred thousand. <laughs> I was like three hundred thousand. That's a lot. But no, um, I'm yeah. setting the bar low. And then... Anyways, we gotta go see a movie, and I gotta pee really bad. Um, thanks for this talk. Keep dreaming, guys. Keep keep keep, keep the dream. Keep the dream alive. Uh, keep the stream alive. Keep the the, the team Look alive. alive. Look alive. Look alive. Look alive. Keep, keep the easy. lean alive. Goodbye.